Well, hi everyone, I'm Heather Warlick at the Juliet Low Leadership Society annual luncheon here in Oklahoma City, and the featured guest is Joan London. Welcome to Oklahoma today. Thank you very much. Sorry about the wind. I hope it didn't mess up That's your hair okay. or anything. That's okay. It makes you look kind of like <laughs> that nice windblown. windblown look. <laughs> That's right. Well, you've done so many things in your life. You spent 17 years on Good Morning America. You did uh, A&E's Behind Closed Doors, investigative journalism. You've been an advocate for women in so many different ways. Yeah. Um, and here you're advocating for Girl Scouts, which is something that you and I have in common. I'm wearing my Girl Scout pin. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. So tell me. I remember when my mom was a brownie leader yes. when I was really little. It was crazy. You know, I, I, I've been an advocate for health and wellness um, probably since I was a little girl because my daddy was a doctor. Always thought I would be a doctor when I grew up. Then I worked in a hospital for a while and found out that wasn't happening. <laughs> and, you know, I have this wonderful uh, opportunity after, you know, two decades on GMA to be out in front of women's groups all the time. And I think it's incumbent upon us to share our stories mm -hmm. and we can inspire each other, we can motivate each other. I see it day in and day out as I go from city to city and speak to women's groups. And at a group like this, I mean, first of all, you have the Juliet Lowe people who just work so hard to raise money to support this fantastic group. Because it's groups like Girl Scouts that help to teach our young women today to be courageous and to be strong and to have a voice and to want more out of life. These are some of the things that you told uh, the group of Girl Scouts earlier today that gathered at the Girl Scout headquarters there from Arthur Elementary, and that's a community Girl Scout troop. Um, you know, there's a lot of importance in um, for, for women, you know, adult women, to help out with Girl Scouts as well. Yeah. You know, and in Oklahoma, we have some problems facing our girls. We have a high rate of teen pregnancy, a high rate of uh, female incarceration. So how do you think Girl Scouts can, you know, make a change in that? I think that being there for them, you know, a lot of times uh, young children today are in homes where there might not be a father, the mother's working full time. You don't have that same sense of someone's always there to hold you up and support you and and cheerlead you like we had when we were much younger. So the Girl Scouts can jump in and play a role. They can serve as role models to these young women. And there's so much to be said for giving young children positive affirmations, constantly telling them, we're gonna build your character. You can be anything you wanna be. I got that when I was young. And it helped me believe in myself. So we need to help these young girls see positive role models, believe that they can make more out of their lives, and if you bond with them, if, you know, the, the leaders bond with these young girls, and you do in all of these get-togethers, they then don't want to disappoint you. And that's where perhaps you can cut down on some of this teenage pregnancy. Maybe they'll come to you and talk to you when they're at a pivotal point of making a decision that could ruin their lives. That's, it's just that strength of community and that support system that is so desperately needed today.